Hey guys, welcome back to this video. Now we're going to solve a coding interview problem, copy list with random pointer. This is going to be a linked list problem. A linked list is given such that each node contains an additional random pointer which could point to any node in the list or null. We have to return a deep copy of the list. We can't return the given linked list. We have to create a new copy and we can't reference to the original node. We have to create fresh new linked list as the given linked list. For example, if you are given this linked list, then we have to return this linked list and here the node, all the node need to be new. They can't reference to the original node. And the new created copy need to be exactly same as the given linked list. Where we have next pointer and random pointer and a value. Alright. So how we can solve this problem? Now let me go through the intuition. Let's suppose that we are given this linked list. First, what we're going to do, we're going to insert this node of value 7 with the next pointer and random pointer. The random pointer will point to null and we're going to insert in between 7 and 13. The new node will link to this node 13 and this node will link to the new node. Initially, when inserted a new node then the new node will not have a random pointer okay and in between 13 and 11 we'll insert here a node 13 and then here in between 11 and 10 we'll insert a node 11 in between 10 and 1 we'll insert a node of value 10 and here in between null and this node 1 we'll insert a node 1 they will be represented like this so here we have inserted node 7 that has a next pointer and the random pointer is null. Okay, so here we inserted 7, 13, 11, 10 and 1. Now what we're going to do, we're going to fix the random pointer. Here this node 7 will connect to the null node. Okay, and for this node Harden it will be connected to the node 7. Then here this node 11 will be connected to the node 10. Okay, and so on. And they will be represented like this. After that, we're going to disconnect the link and we're going to connect this next pointer by skipping one node. Okay, here as well. Let's disconnect and connect here. Then here let's disconnect let's connect by skipping one node again let's disconnect this let's connect it by skipping one node and so on and they will be represented like this okay for this linked list we have the head 7 and we'll return this head okay and we'll return this head 7 this is how we can solve this problem. Now how we can insert a node with next pointer and random pointer where random pointer is null. Then how we can fix the random pointer. Then how we can connect each node by skipping one node. Now let's see how we can do that using pseudocode. This is the pseudocode to solve this problem. Here this code will insert the node 7. 13, 11, 10, and 1. And this node are new node. And this node has next pointer and random pointer. But random pointer pointing to null node. Then this code will fix the random pointer like so. Take a look at this picture. I'm not going to go through the pseudocode. If I go through the pseudocode, you'll be get bored. Instead, I'm going to leave the resources for you 
to understand this problem. And here we have this code. This code will link node by skipping one node. Okay, like this. And here we have coffee head equals to this node. Okay, so we'll return the coffee head. And here we see this node 7, 13, then 11, 10, 1, null. And we have the original node and we have the original linked list 7, 13, 11, 10, 1, null. So we have the given linked list as it is. And we'll return the coffee head. And here we're just returning the coffee head. And the solution will take bigger of 3n time complexity since we are iterate through the given linked list three times and that's equivalent to bigger of n since here we're not using any additional space we have some pointer so the space complexity for this problem is bigger of one and this is how we can solve this problem for better understanding i encourage you to go through this pseudocode and here we have the linked list and you can see how it actually works. The source code is available for this problem. Alright guys, this is the solution to this problem. If you have any question, if you have any suggestion, let us know. Let us know which problem we should cover in the future. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please, please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned with CS Ninja. Alright, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.